Hello everybody, what's up, what's going on, and welcome to the 42nd episode of Raptors in One. The champs are here, the champs are here, the champs are here, that's right, the champs are here, the Raptors are not the champs this time around, sorry Raptors fans, ladies and gents, I am talking about the NBA Finals, the 2022 NBA champions, the recipients of the Larry O'Brien Trophy, none other than Golden State Warriors. That's right. I was rooting for these guys uh, before the finals had started because I was just tired of seeing Boston Celtics win another championship and just add another one to their, uh, I don't know, God, 14, 15 championship series. But the Golden State have won it. They have become now a dynasty in their own, and Steph's got his flowers, and yeah, we are going to talk about this last game in the series, so without any further ado, let's get it. Man, Steph Curry, what can I say about Steph Curry? He was just on fire, um, I would say most of the series, of course, except for the uh, game five, when even though Golden State won, uh, he was he was 0 for 9, I think, from the three-point field goal percentage. And he was clearly upset about that. You know, that, that was the first time in his career that he went 0 for anything from a three-point field goal. So, of course, he made it a point, and he made his point in the last game when it mattered the most for all the marbles in game six. In enemy territory, no less. Parquet floor, Boston Celtics, TD Garden. It doesn't get any bigger than that. It doesn't get any better than that. I feel this was bittersweet for the Golden State roster. You know, of course, for the uh, for the core in Draymond, Steph, and Clay, and of course Steve Kerr. This was sweet for them. This was a sweet victory, especially because they did it in enemy territory. Let's rem let's let's reminisce what happened the last time they were in the finals. Oh yeah, that's right. It was in the Oracle Arena, which is no more. And it was against, of course, against the Raptors. 2019, Kawhi Leonard, Pascal, Kyle Lowry, Serge, Marc Gasol, Freddie, who got an MVP vote. Man, that was fire. And I know I'm taking I'm I'm reminiscing and I'm taking it away from the Golden State's win in the 2022. I just wanted to basically remind the viewers that yes, it took the Raptors to dethrone the dominant Golden State Warriors who were uh forecasted to win it all again that year. Now, of course, injuries are a thing. And you know what? I, I I'm gonna admit it. As a Raptors fan myself, and I know this is the Raptors in one channel, but let's be real. If either Clay or Kevin Durant were healthy in 2019, that win would have been very near impossible. Um, you gotta admit, it was, injuries is what helped us win that championship, but I gotta say this. It was just meant to be. It was our year. The dominoes just fell that way. We won that championship 2019. We did it, especially before the pandemic. And that was big. And we did it in enemy territory, no less, in the Oracle Arena. And I'll admit it, when Kevin Durant went down, I had cheered on. And and, and, and let me clear, clear this up. If you haven't watched my videos before, I have mentioned why. I had cheered for Kevin Durant going down. And if you haven't watched those videos, I suggest you hit that subscribe button and check out my other content as well. Of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button uh, if you like the content and of course comments. So coming back to cheering on for Kevin Durant going down, yes, I did cheer on for Kevin Durant going down. And I did not cheer on for the fact that he was... Uh, that he was hurt and that, you know, what, like, it wasn't ill will. It was more so like, oh, that just raised our chances to win the championship even more. 
And uh, I felt I still felt bad for Kevin Durant being injured because at the end of the day, we're all human. You know, it hurts when one of our humans, fellow humans are hurt. We got to feel it, too. Right. But at the same time, I was like, man, this means that we're going to win the championship. It just means that it's make it made our path even more easier. OK, now, of course, Clay getting injured. That was another I was like, yes, great. Now we don't have to worry about another sharpshooter. That made it even more easier. And that's why we won it. I'll admit it. We won it because of that. But let me tell you this. Golden State Warriors fans, uh, NBA fans in general, Raptors fans in general, the playoffs, especially the finals, isn't just about how skillful you are, how deep of a team you are, you have. But it also depends on a little bit of luck and of course if you're going to be durable if you can survive it is also a battle of survival if all your players are healthy at the end and their key players are not that's just the game that's just how it goes that's why we play an 82 game season that's why we play their playoffs that's why we have four rounds in the playoffs including the finals and that's why it's a seven game series. It's a battle for survival. If you can come out at the other end, you win. So nothing is guaranteed. Just because you have a stacked team doesn't mean you can't lose your key players to injuries. And that is what happened in 2019. Fast track three years later. Of course, this win, this win for the Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors fans, you deserve to celebrate this win. This win was definitely a special win for y'all. I got to say this. I respect, my respect for Steph Curry has gone even more than it already was. I respect Steph Curry big time. So much so. And I, I apologize, LeBron fans. I know what y'all are thinking already. <laughs> That's right. I do hold Steph about equal. Maybe maybe a tad bit higher than LeBron in my books. My opinion, my books. Uh, I got to say, you know, with, with, with the injuries and the personnel that Steph had, um, he earned his flowers. You know, he got it. He, he has made his mark. He has earned his spot in the Mount Rushmore. I will say that because you have to realize this. After that 2019 series, the pandemic happened, Clay was injured, even Steph was injured, they missed seasons. Clay's road back to health, uh, to back to health, and then back to playing. Steph's road back to playing. It was tough. It wasn't easy. And now to come back and then get to where they are, it's not an easy road. 